Okay, in order to make my whiskers, sadly I wasn't recording while I was doing it, just noticed, but I took, I used a auto select on the move tool by layer, and then I clicked on the rounded rectangle I had already made, held down shift and added the, the circles at the edge of it. And then I hit command J, which gives me a duplicate of all three. You can see that as selected. And then with that duplicate, you can Command T and transform it. And if I want to warp it to make it a curve, it's very helpful to make it either horizontal or vertical first with your transform tool. Then hit return, then hit Command T again, and then warp it. And then you can curve it just by tugging at the, the middle top and bottom. Like so. So using that shape, I was able to make the eyebrows, then duplicate it, make the other eyebrow to stretch it out, make the whisker, change the color, duplicate it, make the other whiskers. So a lot of duplication helps. Okay. This is what I have so far. These are all my shapes. So what am I missing? I'm missing the icicles. which go on top, and these are more freeform shapes. So I'm going to start with a triangle. That I will then warp. It'd be nice if I can do these without having to make them compounds, but we'll see. It's okay to me with my icicles are a little bit sharp. But it looks to me like this is exactly how the original designers did this. Because just by warping that triangle, I'm getting similar shapes. So the most complicated I can get is kind of an S-curve on each edge. See how far off is that? That's pretty much that works. All right, now to match the color, I can turn off my vector layer and still change its color. And then when I turn it back on, it will be the color. But if I want to move it above the whiskers, I need to hit Command right bracket and move it up above. because I want the icicles on top of everything. But maybe I don't want this icicle on top of the whisker. And maybe I can just make a little call here and say I want the icicle to actually attach to the side of the face a little bit more. So I'm going to move it. So now I'm going rogue. I'm improving on the design. OK, Command J, duplicate that icicle. Each icicle is a little bit different, just gives us more challenges. but all within warpability. Warping is the name of the game. This time I'm going to flip it horizontally. Warp its position, its curve. Remember, it's just like cut out paper. So if it's overlapped by the eyebrow, I don't need to worry about it. I'm going to call that good enough. That one looks very similar. Command J to this one over here. Let's make it a little bigger. 
and then warp. And again, maybe making it so it matches the side of my emoji. So that just makes a little bit more sense. Other than these free floating icicles. And then I want to push this behind the whiskers. And then last one, which is similar to this one, Manj. And again, I, I want it to, to match I think I'm going to put it right there and then warp it. Match its curve. Bring it down. like so. All right, let's see what I've got. These are the shapes I have. Turn off the background. I think I want this one underneath the eyebrow. So I'm going to use command left bracket to move that down below the eyebrow, maybe below the X as well, and maybe even just move it over a little. Though there's a tangency there, so I'm going to just little adjustments so everything feels intentional. There we go. That'll work. All right, so now this is a basic emoji. It's all cutouts of flat paper, right? The one that my original had that's a little fancy are the extra shading within the mushroom cloud. So to do that, I am going to steal from these shapes I already built. I'm going to duplicate them and then change their color. To the lighter pink. And then move them on up. And put them in place. I think that's the only big circle. Then I'm going to duplicate it. Command T. Make a small circle. Duplicate that and bring that same small circle over the other places it's used. Command J again. Command J again. And command J one last time. Right. And then I've got to take all of those where'd they go? And move that underneath. Huh. 
There we go. Now I'm seeing it. Command J again. Hit return. Command J again. I think because I wasn't hitting return, it was just moving it instead of placing it. Command J again. There we go. And now I've got that highlight for the mushroom bomb. Now the shadow for it, this kind of arcing thing, that can be done with the curved rectangles, the rounded rectangles. So I'm going to steal again from my eyebrow the curved rectangle, duplicate it, Command T, rotate it, Going to make it horizontal, hit return, command T, and then stretch it longer, holding down shift. Maybe a tiny bit thinner. Command T, maybe shrink it up a little bit, and then rotate it. Just a smidge. Up oh, is that curve enough? Not quite. Command T, rotate it. Gotta curve it more. So I hit Command T and warp it. Curve it a little bit more. Same kind of craziness. And then Command T, lots of Command T, lots of warping. Put it in place, hit return, command J to duplicate it. Oh, let's get the color first, actually. Take this up to 100%. Okay. Select these, so the layer is selected. Turn this on, find my layers, and pick the color. And now that I've done that, I can select it, all three, and then Command J, and then Command T, and then flip it horizontally. So organizing and working with multiple layers. Bring it over here. Oh, it's bigger on this side. So enlarge it, hold down Shift and shrink it a little bit. This works. Hit return. And now I need a triangle that gives it a sharp edge. So I'm going to do a new triangle tool. Move it in. Command T. Hold down Shift. Try to line up the edges. All right now, here's the trick. This is my last shape, but I gotta get it in the right place. So, hold down Shift, select all these compound shapes that made this.